What's up mga ka -Ventures? Welcome back sa ating tahanan Sa ating mga subscribers at viewers Maraming salamat po For giving your precious time Sa inyong sulidong suporta palagi At syempre, hope you're in good health as always Wherever you are At syempre, sa ating mga fabunan doctors Mega love shout out sa ating SMM na palagi nating hinihintay ang kanyang mga updates kung ano na kaya ang nangyayari doon sa Indonesia. Hope you're in good health. Also as always, mega love shout out. Alright mga ventures, syempre as usual, bago ang ating vlog for the day ay kailangan mo nating basahin ang ating verse for the day that will complete our day. So please read this. So mga ka-Ventures, heto na naman tayo sa ating daily banatan at pulsuhan. Sa napabalita like a uh, few weeks ago doon sa sunod-sunod noong uh, investigation doon sa Farmali. Pumunti ka na rin akong maniwala doon sa kanilang ginawa na investigation with the fish shield issue. No? Kasi yun na nga. Uh, talagang inako naman ni Crisel Mago na she is swindling the government but again like yesterday ay nagbigay naman siya ng kanyang another pahayag na kung saan ay talagang dinidinan niya ang lahat ng yon dahil talagang na pressure lang siya so Makikita naman natin kung paano yung Senate Blue Ribbon Committee na pinangunahan ni Senator Gordon na kung saan ay talagang masyadong yung questions nila ay talagang parang ikaw na, parang may kasalanan ka na. Talagang ibang klase yung question na yun eh. But, hindi gaya nito sa question ng kamera na kung saan ay talagang napakakulang, no? yung talagang sasagot ay hindi mapipressure no? at talagang magiging kampante ka sa iyong mga sagot kaya heto yung sagot niya ay ating papanoorin uli sa mga hindi pa nakapanood no? syempre we want the full justice to be served No, wala naman tayong pinapanigan kung pumanig pa dat tayo doon sa Senate Blue Ribbon Committee or dito sa Kamara. Ang sa atin lang, whatever na truth ay talagang lalabas. Kasi syempre, ito ay panluluko sa ating government at panluluko sa mga tao. No? So nakasalalay yung safety ng mga frontliners with this no so kailangan talaga mga kaventures nating malaman kung ano ang totoo at hoping they will arrive nothing but the truth so please watch this video i deny all allegations made by the un unidentified witness who appeared on the video presented by Senator Risa Antiveros on September 24, 2021. Why did you seek the protection under the House of Representatives? Uh, Mr. Chairman, as indicated in my letter, I want to speak freely without undue influence from varying sources. Do, do you have anything to say to this committee? Mr. Chairman, I prepared an opening statement. May I be allowed to read it? Okay, 10 minutes. Please proceed. Good morning. I am Crisel Grace Mago, a former employee of Farmally Pharmaceutical Corporation. To begin, I extend my gratitude to the House of Representatives Committee on 
good government and public accountability for graciously allowing me time to make an opening statement and for having me under their protective custody. I am here to address a few points. First, I confirm that the official statement dated 28th of September 2021 was issued by me. I apologize for going off the radar for a few days. I simply needed time to breathe and to process everything that had just transpired. I also extend my gratitude to all those who expressed concern over my safety and well-being. I am here, I am alive, and I am safe. Thank you very much. Let me also share a few sentiments that I have harbored for quite some time. As a shy and socially awkward person, the past two months have been difficult for me which has been exacerbated by my involvement in the ongoing investigations where I was invited as one of the resource persons. While testifying before the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee last September 13, 2021, I was questioned about the, the specifics of Farmally's first contract with PSDBM. It was extremely traumatic for me. To be accused of lying and threatened with contempt. And true to their threat, they already arrested one of our executives. Personally, I was perplexed on how I could be perceived as a liar when I was simply answering questions directly based on the information that was reflected on our records and I even willingly submitted the documents upon request. And after I relayed the sequence of events for that specific contract, one thing that stood out the most was the reaction to the advance delivery, which included disparaging remarks like parang grab lang. I do recognize that each and every one of us are entitled to our own interpretation and reaction to every revelation made during the hearings. And while I personally agree that delivery made before issuance of a purchase order was unusual, we should not overlook the fact that this took place during an unprecedented time. I personally struggled to purchase face masks at that same time for personal use. And I am certain that majority of the Filipino people also relate to this experience, most especially our frontliners. Furthermore, and on a more personal note, I tested positive for COVID-19 during the course of the hearings, which resulted in a decline in my physical and emotional health. Additionally, the overwhelming pressure and the intense scrutiny of the investigations have had a detrimental effect to my mental health. Over and above this, my personal mobile number and even my current place of address were also revealed publicly. This violated my right to privacy as a private citizen and also resulted in unwanted harassment and even disturbing messages and calls. Moving on and on the second point, I deny all allegations made by the un unidentified witness who appeared in a video presented by Senator Risa Antiveros on September 24, 2021. And please allow me to expound on that. 
Parmali Pharmaceutical Corporation or PPC has never delivered damaged items to the government, neither does it intend to. PPC conducts its routine quality inspections on the inventory prior to making deliveries. And it is in the conduct of these quality inspections that we were able to identify damaged face shields, um, which includes but not limited to dented, folded, torn or broken, and discolored face shields. Now, these damaged face shields were immediately segregated subject to proper disposal and therefore they were excluded for delivery. And moreover, when we received the inventory, it was already inconsistently packed to begin with, meaning that there were face shields packed individually and then there are also those in groups. And uh, to make matters worse, we there was a significant number of um, packed face shields that we opened solely uh, for the purpose of removing the damaged items. And as a result, we ended up with an inventory so inconsistently packed, ranging from about 6 to 10 face shields per pack, in addition to the face shields that were individually packed. So I raised this concern to our management in a meeting sometime in August 2021. And it has been decided to repack the stocks uniformly in groups of 10 face shields per packaging. This is for an easier and more efficient um, inventory management and accounting. And this is the same instruction that I gave to the warehouse personnel. And in the course of the repacking, um, the face shields, uh, the packaging, which had broken quantities, were merged together to form 10 pieces per packaging. And in the conduct of the repacking, um, the product certificates got mixed up and some were subsequently discarded because the staff only needed to put one, uh, one product certificate per packaging. So, um, to further clarify, the face shields required by the Department of Health for this specific contract are non-medical grade face shields and uh, this is also stated in the technical specifications. Third, third point, regarding my previous testimonies on the questions pertaining to swindling the government, I do admit that it was a pressured response. Given the amount of pressure that I was under at that time, and even the rush of emotions, associated with the allegations made and my subsequent admission, I was not in the proper um, frame of mind to think clearly. At that time, to be honest, what I considered was the fact that we already delivered a portion of these face shields containing the mixed um, product certificates to the, the Department of Health. But after the Senate hearing, and after I evaluated my answers or my testimonies, I realized that the, the face shields that we partially delivered to the, the Department of Health have not been inspected, hindi pa po siya na-inspect and na-accept ng Department of Health. So hindi, rin, hindi pa rin po siya na-allocate and distribute sa mga end users. And in addition, wala pong natanggap na bayad ang formally from the Department of Health for this um, partial delivery. So I hope that this clarifies the situation. Finally, in light of the information presented, I thank you for your time and interest and I welcome any questions that you may have. Thank you. So for sure, mga kaventures, kayo rin ay gusto rin, no? Nang talagang katiwasayan at lalong lalo na ay itong administration ngayon ay papa-end na rin kasi malapit na rin yung eleksyon so kailangan nating bumoto ng syempre karapat dapat no? wag lang sana yung trapo mga kaventures kasi kung ibubuto natin sila 
ilalagay natin sila ilang dekada na uh, pamamahala sa ating government since from that 1986 EDSA no from Madam Cory Aquino tapos Fidel V Ramos kasi dilawa naman talaga din si Fidel V Ramos di ba tapos ngayon itong anak na si Presidente Noy Noy no pero walang nangyayari na kaunlaran no nakikita natin puro na lang ano puro na lang korupsyon ang nangyayari sa government nila no unlike this time ay makikita natin na dahil sa build build program ay marami ang nakaka-benefit nito ma try to think na kahit pandemic ay tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang build build program ni Pangulong Digong ito lang ang kanyang mali no na kung saan ay hindi niya binakapan o sinuportaan itong EFI natin na sana ito talaga ang magdadala sa atin ng mabilis na transition ng panahon what i mean is mabilis na babalik sa normal na buhay kung binigyan ng sana niya ng chance no na magkaroon ng further study para mapatunayan itong mga inventions ng mga fabunan kung nakakatulong ba talaga o hindi di ba so yun lang talaga kasi dahil doon malaki ang impact sa government dahil doon ang mga ayuda ay nagsalabasan no ang lahat ng mga kailangan mga budgets ay nagsilabasan kaya maraming mga makakating kamay ang nakabenefit it's like 27% ang pagbaba ng kaso as per Okta research so hoping na tuloy-tuloy na ito mga kaventures kasi wala naman tayong ibang hinangad kundi ang magkaroon ng katiwasayan, kaunlaran ang ating mga pamilya at syempre safety na rin at the most. God bless us all. Keep safe as always. Palaging panatilihing malusog ang katawan and syempre see you in the next one. Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing